Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I'm going to be doing the short book recommendations tag. And I die if you want to destroy my sweater. I was tagged to do this by the creator who is Dylan the Reader 5, so basically the whole concept of this is that you just recommend some short books and kind of get talking about some shorter pieces of work. Thank you so much to Dylan for tagging me. So let's jump right into it. I have four books here to share that are short books that I really enjoy, so let's jump right into it. When Jack by Joseph Boyden. This book is about a young Ojibwe boy who escapes from a residential school and it's about his journey escaping and all the stuff that he went through. So this was just really impactful. It was really popular like maybe a year ago, I think, but it's a Canadian book. Like, it's just so worth the read. And on the back, the quote is, one day I will run, one day they won't hurt me anymore. It's just so thought provoking, so emotional. It's just one of the best short piece of works I've ever read. Like it's only 102 pages and it's so worth it. And there's like little illustrations in it too. And basically, if you're wondering what's up with all like the animals on the cover, they kind of narrate it from their point of view when he's running away, kind of. So it's a really interesting way to tell this story, and I loved it a lot. Next up here, I have a book that I have not talked about in a really long time. That is My Heart and Other Black Holes. This is by Jasmine Warga. This book does have some trigger warnings for depression and suicide, so keep that in mind before picking this up. So this was one of my favorite books of, I think, 20... 15. I think it was my favorite book of 2015 or my second favorite but behind The Shining I think. But this book is again a mental health YA novel and it is about this girl who forms a suicide pact on a site. Um, she finds another guy because they she can't kill herself on her own so she decides to meet up with a guy and they'll do it together which things actually do exist so it's basically the story of her and this partner in crime or whatever you want to call it and their journey kind of thing. And it's really emotional, really well written. Jasmine Warrior just released one of her new books, but this came out in 2015 and I absolutely loved it. So up here I had to include some poetry, so I have Ariel by Sylvia Plath. This is a collection of her poetry. If you don't know Sylvia Plath, um, her first works were published in 1965. and. She writes some really great and dark poetry. Like her poetry, the way it's written, it gives me goosebumps. Like literally, I had goosebumps. Cause you can just tell how like miserable she was. And she can really just, she know, really knows how to write those dark poems, especially. Interesting, and her poems are very dark and very well written. So next up here, I have Dear Ijiwele or Feminist Manifesto and 15 Suggestions by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. And this book is about Adichie who um, her friend sends her like a message kind of saying like, how can I raise my daughter to become a feminist? How would you suggest I go about this? That kind of thing. And Adichie responds with this book kind of. And it's a bunch of tips about how to raise a feminist and just how to be a feminist kind of thing. It's really great. I did like it better than We Should All Be Feminist just because that one's more standard knowledge, but this one really dived deep into some things and I really, really enjoyed it. I think she really offers an interesting insight onto it to the point where it's not like too much to handle or it's not super, super preachy because I know some people don't like reading feminist thingies because one, they don't like feminism or two, it comes off really preachy, but this was phenomenal and I love it a lot. So yes, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to be tagging a few people, which I did not pre-plan this, which usually I do pre-plan who I'm tagging, but I'm going to be tagging Cam from Wolfshot Publishing. I'm going to be tagging War Warner. I'm going to be tagging, I'm going, to, I'm going to be tagging Warren from the Starry Reader. The, oh shit, I forget. <laughs> Whatever, his channel's great. Link him down below. Um, who else? I'll just tag dudes, I guess. <laughs> uh, Jay from Captured in Words. And Peter, I think, was already tagged. But if he wasn't, I'll tag him. Um, so there you guys have it. That was my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all very soon with a new video. Bye. I